YouTube fam, it's your girl Miss Eva Trucker. I'm coming to you today with this video. This is the second part, part two, about uh, what to expect when you go to CDL school. When you're starting your trucking career, you don't have anything. You're going in with your permit. I mean, without a permit. Uh, the, with the first video, I talked about uh, what to expect when you get to CDL school, what you need to bring as far as your documentation is concerned. Um, also, um, uh, the expectation of your DOT physical, what that includes, um, passing your test, and also moving to the stage of getting your license. Most companies, um, and also before you apply anywhere, if you're watching my video about going to CDL school, I have, um, I have right now I have three schools that I can send you to okay I have SWIFT I have CR England and I have CRST okay now with oh I'm sorry I got four I got MCT okay that's another company I have um, with CRST it's mostly for um, if you want to go team okay because usually they have teams and uh, once you get finished with school you will be assigned like a team driver and you will be team driving okay so um, if you plan on being a solo driver out there by yourself uh, my top two schools that I will be able to put you in is CR England and um, Swift for right now if you do not have a uh, CDL okay now if you have graduated from a school there's a lot of trucking schools out here okay so you got your license but you don't have any experience okay now the door is going to open up a little bit more for you okay so I have um, uh, CFI which is a great company I also have uh, Snyder which is a great company they will accept you coming out of and also LTI will as well they will accept you coming out of um, uh, a CDL Academy with a license with no experience okay they will accept you that way um, and I also have a couple of other schools that I can send you with with a license you can go a lot more places if you graduated from a school already okay um, then also if you're in your stage that you have your CDL and you completed everything and you upgraded to a solo driver and you have three or more months experience then the door starts to open up a little bit more for you as to far as far as where I can place you okay now if you have been out here driving and you want to change your pace you want to go OTR you want to go regional you want to find something that's local you want to find um, you may want to switch over from company to lease purchase or on an op and you're interested in those opportunities then I have over 50 companies that I work with and will uh, get you placed with them, okay? Now, the best part of me get, working with you, getting you placed with a company is I work with a lot of companies, okay? So you're not just working with one company, finding out the information on that. Um, we get you, I get you with all the companies that I have available for you. We go over your options together and you make the decision of where you would like to go, okay? Um, give me one second. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to pull in my door to get loaded. So, you know, I'm working. I'm trying to handle other things. So, all at one time out here on the road, okay? But, um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been calling me. Y'all have um, been sharing. Uh, Y'all have been getting a word of mouth. People that you know, you've been having them call me about getting into the trucking industry. And I am very thankful for that because I haven't really did a lot of advertising. And just for me doing YouTube videos and Facebook and Instagram and things like that, I'm getting like two calls a day. Okay, so that is excellent all right um and it's not going to do anything but build from there okay so um back to what i was saying is uh with the schools okay you got your permit you got your license right so now what we're getting ready to do once you got your license um you're going to be going out with the trainer 
okay a trainer okay um, a lot of schools require you to have so many hours uh, under your belt as far as training with a driver um, to, in order for you to upgrade to being a solo driver okay some of the schools will allow you to choose um, if you want to be with a smoker or non-smoker pre preference um, if you uh, prefer to uh, um, be with a female okay now be prepared if you request a female trainer then you may have to wait uh, for a while and some people may not pay while you're waiting okay so you could be waiting there in a hotel uh, and things like that to go out with a trainer okay um, if you get some kind of ridiculous amount of waiting time for you to wait and go out with a trainer give me a call uh, hush Ripley sit down um, um, once you go out with your trainer okay uh, you're going to pack uh, a bag to get on that truck uh, you that's going to be your one-on-one -on -one time uh, with that trainer they will start you off with driving you know a couple of hours a day then they will increase you to where you're able to drive your full 11 hour shift okay now a part of training some people some companies do team training okay that means that you have a license and uh, you may be required to drive just as long as a trainer, okay? Some of them will have where you do all the driving and a trainer may only drive a couple of hours a day, okay? Um, some of them will have where the trainer doesn't drive at all and you do all the driving, okay? So they have different training methods, methods depending on what school you go to, okay? Um, now, once you get on a truck with your trainer, okay, um, that trainer is going to teach you everything about, you know, your driving habits, making sure you use your uh, Smith system, uh, backing up, how to go through the fuel out, um, how to back up in parking spaces next to you. You will get a lot of practice out here on the road training. You should, okay. Um, the trainer will take you out maybe to a truck stop in the middle of the day and have you practice, 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 okay? The more practice that you get in um, out here during your training period, the better you will be as a solo driver, okay? Uh, I want to make sure I don't go too long on this video because I'm going to have a part three. Um, what to expect? Your, um, your uh, trainer is going to show you about the Qualcomm, how to use your 11, uh, your 14 hour, your 70 hour. They're going to show you how to use your clock, okay, so you don't get in violation, so you can plan your trips. They're going to show you how to read a map. They're going to show you how to... Uh, uh, plan your routes okay um, they're going to show you how to look for things you know how to not uh, be able to turn down certain streets or the, your bridge clearance making sure that you don't get off on the right wrong wrong road okay um, or you don't go over a, a, a weight limit road okay um, they're going to show you things like moving your tandems um, setting your reefer if you have a reefer trailer um, your kingpin, how to hook up and disconnect from the trailer. So you're gonna get a lot of that hands-on training out here on the road. How to pre-trip your truck every day. How to make sure you keep your fuel and your depth and all that kind of stuff in there. How to read your gauges out here, okay? So you should be learning a lot. Um, if you are you know, not learning, you need to say something. You need to make sure that you know, you're know you out there with a trainer, that you say something that they're actually teaching you and not you just out there driving and not getting any knowledge out of it, okay? Because eventually that's not going to do anything but hurt yourself because you're going to have to get out here as a solo driver. And the more that you know and the more practice that you have with your trainer, the better off you will be be um, when you actually get your own truck okay so practice 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 no question is a dumb question ask as many questions as you need to ask um, especially about your weight ticket you're going to learn about the um, 
what is it, 12, 34, 34, how to weigh your load, how to move your tandems um, to get your weight right, okay? They're going to show you all that, how to use your uh, fuel, um, how to save money, and if you decide that you want to do a lease purchase, it will be good if you have a lease purchase driver to teach you those things and how to run your business, okay? So, it's a lot of... Uh, a lot of information that you should be getting out on the road in the time period that you train okay every day should be a learning experience for you if you're not learning you are delaying uh, your time being a solo driver because once you come back in and you test out to be a solo driver and you're not able to perform the duties that they ask you to do um, to get your own truck, you're going to have to go back out again or either go home and go to another school, okay? So you do not want to do that. Um, if you find yourself with a trainer you don't get along with, they're cussing at you, they're doing this, they're making, intimidating you, they're making you feel a certain way. Um, different trainers teach differently, okay? Um, and and um, But the thing is for, to make sure that you are learning something, you are getting something out of it, okay? If you find out that it's too stressful, that maybe you need to change trainers, that you're not getting the information uh, properly, or you're not learning, then you need to take the initiative and ask to be switched to another trainer, okay? Because it is up to you to get the information, okay? So make sure you uh, do that. Once you... Um, Get on the off the truck with the trainer. That's going to be about anywhere between four to six weeks. Some people require you to train for 7,500 miles. Uh, it ranges differently for a, a different company. Some people split it up. Some people have a phase one of training and a phase two where you get two different trainers, okay? Um, you want to get through that process uh, 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 as soon as possible so you can get out there on the road. But take your time, okay? If you don't feel comfortable, let somebody know that you don't feel comfortable because once you get your license and you become a solo driver and you're out here on the road by yourself um you're gonna have to figure out a lot okay and um in your first year you are going to most likely have an incident okay um it's not uncommon for uh new drivers to get out here and have some sort of backing incident okay why because they don't get out and look um, they don't properly set up their truck. They, um, they're they not paying attention to what they're doing, okay? Not watching that trail, okay? You got to keep an eye on that trail at all times, okay? It is so easy where you think that you got your front end, okay? And then you look in the back and you've been a, a turned over a stop sign or backed into a pole or took the doors off your trailer because you know hit another trailer so those things happen okay a lot of things that happen you overdo the kingpin where you drop your trailer okay those things that you know you do that uh that um that you're not paying attention to detail okay so make sure you do that if you do make a mistake out here learn from that mistake okay and make sure that it doesn't happen again okay um uh, most companies have a scale, uh, uh, um, a level, okay? So after so many uh, incidents, backing incidents, you know, they will have to let you go, okay? Um, and uh, until you get some more experience under your belt, okay? Because you could easily um, kill somebody out here, okay? It, it doesn't take much, all right? So um, pay attention. Make sure you get that training. Once you upgrade to your uh, solo, get your truck, then that's when you go home and get all the supplies and everything that you need for your truck, okay? And then you're ready to go. So y'all, when you're looking at this process, it's going to take, when I when when you call me and you said, Tamara, I'm ready to go to uh, training, truck driving school, okay? When you say that, be prepared to be away from um, the home and have everything that's taken care of at home that it won't require you to be there for at least two to three months, okay? Um, that everything can run fine out there for two to three months. Sit down with your spouse, your certificate other, whoever the case may be, and explain that to them, okay? You just can't jump uh, uh, in the truck and come by the house, okay? That's not going to happen, okay? Um, 
once you upgrade to your being a solo driver um, you will start getting your loads and everything on your own a lot of times companies that have schools they know that you're new so they'll start you off slow they may have you go to some you know warehouses that have you know big parking like this one you know um, I'm at a cold store so they got big parking so you know you can maneuver pretty well and usually only you have to do like a straight line back to back into the door okay don't be afraid to ask for help once you're out here okay um, you don't want to get caught um, with incidents okay take those things seriously because they can um, get onto your report some companies keep it within the company um, and some people some companies will report everything that you do onto your uh, DAC report I don't care if it's just uh, backing into a poll I don't care if it's uh, uh, anything that you do um, they will put it on your uh, on your paperwork okay not all companies are like that but uh, some of them are so you want to be careful and that could that can hinder you from getting hired somewhere else later on down the road okay once you've been at that company you know they do ask you to sign that contract the tuition is anywhere between forty five hundred and sixty five hundred dollars okay the way that they get that money paid back to them is um by you staying there uh a year committing to them for a year okay um but once you do that and you decide that you want to hey come in sit down come in Once you do that and you decide that you want to um, um, move and go somewhere else or you're not happy at the place that you are and you need to move somewhere else, I will be able to help you with that as well, okay? Um, but other than that, basically that's it from going to school. Be ready. If you call me and you have straightened out your... Um, your uh, situation at home and you're ready to go because once I get started um, I will probably have you in school the following week okay um, um, that's as early as I could possibly get you in there will be the following week uh, long as everything goes okay um, you remember you don't get paid until uh, you're on the truck most companies don't pay you until you're on that truck um, what else I want to tell y'all but other than that as far as that is concerned remember my recruiting number is 1-800-620-9235 okay and what I think I'm gonna do is because I'm getting more and more calls and I don't want to miss your call and I don't want to uh, make sure that I start working on you is I may get one of my family members I'm thinking my mom or somebody that may be able to answer the phone for me and get your basic information put in for me and then that way we can get the ball rolling and you're not waiting on me to stop driving or you know things like that to get you taken care of okay um, but yeah so that's my part one and part two about going to CDL Academy. Um, I can help you if you're getting your CDL, if you graduated from an academy, and if you are wanting to get back into uh, driving. It has it been a while and you haven't driven in a while. I can help you with that refresher, okay? I have somewhere for you to go for all three, okay? Once you become an experienced driver and you have at least six months, uh, under your belt, you could basically uh, six months a year. You could basically go to a lot more companies, okay, that pay um, pretty well, and um, and the doors start to open up for you, okay. So call me and see what I have available. See what options you have. We will be able to discuss that. Um, other than that, that is it as far as the CDL Academy. Now. Um, like I said, the two schools that I had to go to school is going to be, well, I got four. So, it's with no license, I mean, with no permit, it's going to be CR England, Swift, 
uh, CRST, which is if you're not interested in team, and I wouldn't put you there, um, and uh, M and and uh, MCT. Okay. Um, if you want to talk to drivers or you want to look at drivers that's been to Swift, y'all know y'all can look at the videos. I would recommend that you watch um, Big Cat. Big Cat been to Swift. Um, he worked there. Uh, his older videos, uh, you can look at that. I recommend that you watch uh, TRB. He, uh, the Wright brother, he been to Swift, okay, he knows about their training, their academy, so you can look at his old videos of when he was at Swift, and also another person that has been at Swift, or was at Swift for a very long time, uh, was Miss D. Sova, okay, those are three people that have uh, been to Swift, and they know about the company, and they have videos showing um their previous uh previous um experience at that company okay um also let's see and uh mo 804 him and his wife is at swift okay so you can look at their videos and uh you can see what they're doing as far as working or being at swift some people are still at some people still there and some people have moved on to other things okay um, but get your foot in the door get your experience get that license that's the most important thing is to get your training get that license and so you can upgrade and get to be a solo driver okay um, don't let other people experience um, I would say it influence you in a way that it will stop you or limit your um, options out here okay because you need to get in and get that training okay your options your doors will open up once you get that training once you get that experience under your belt okay we all have to start somewhere um, and I went to CR England uh, at the time I wish I had someone that I had looked at uh, that went to CR England and could tell me you know so I could be better prepared my experience wouldn't have been their experience their experience was not was not my experience but I could have been more prepared of what to expect as as far as you know um, sharing a room with other people as far as how much money I need to bring as far as um, um, the time that I would have been on a truck um, things like that those things are helpful you know individual personal experience is that person's experience okay um, you're gonna have your own experience and it may not be the same as what somebody else okay else have okay um, hopefully you will be able to get through everything and become a solo driver um, but yeah that's what I have so if you have any questions about those companies I will go over it in detail with you of what to expect what school you will be going to um, um, and your expectations okay what they pay for what they don't pay for how much money do you need to bring um, will you be staying in a hotel room will you be staying in a dormitory style room um, just all kinds of things okay so I am with you as your um, as an independent recruiter I kind of uh, stay with you to see your progress and your update because my goal is to see you be a solo driver okay so that is my goal and my goal is to make sure that you complete the uh, training get your CDL and you upgrade to a solo driver okay uh, is everybody going to do that is everybody going to complete that people drop out every day people quit every day people um say it's not for them every day okay so but if you give it a try and you see if it's for you uh, my job is to encourage you and try to help you get through it okay other than that once you get to be a solo driver baby you are your own okay um and then um the experienced drivers uh, if you are out there and you are looking to change your career or you're not making any 
uh, money at a certain company then I am more than happy to help you uh, go over options of all these other companies that we have out here that you can go through and that is the one thing that I love about trucking okay it's not like any other uh, job that you go to out here if you keep your record clean and you do what you are supposed to do the doors are open you have companies competing for you okay um, companies will have you uh, you will be in one place out into another place the next day okay so um, and companies fight to keep you okay so um, um, that's the best thing that I love about this I don't ever have to worry about not having a place to go if I uh, keep my record clean and do what I'm supposed to do okay the options are endless of uh, opportunity out here okay now my next video that I'm gonna talk to you about is because a lot of y'all are calling me really not sure that you want to go to CDL school and I want to give you some other options to think about okay you may want to get in the transportation industry but you know actually driving a truck is not meant for you okay it may not be a good option for you at the time it could be kids it could be you know you don't want to give up your long time job you don't know how this is going to be any of those options uh, I want to give you some other things that you can uh, talk about as uh, to talk about as far as careers out here okay we have dispatchers we have low planners okay a lot of people don't talk about those and I can tell you how to get those jobs okay dispatchers low planners um, you have fleet managers you have um, um, uh, work at home dispatchers where you could be an independent dispatcher for owner operators and all they do is dispatch you okay um, being a broker uh, being a um, being in logistics being in sales okay uh, being in customer service the people who handle the accounts okay so I want to talk to you about uh, or being a recruiter okay so I want to also talk to you about other jobs in the transportation industry that you may want to apply at and work at at one of these mega companies or carriers okay so my that will be my next video I'm gonna talk to you about dispatching low planner what each of those jobs uh, do um, maybe you want to be a CDL instructor okay so there's a lot of uh, other options that you could do out here to be involved in the transportation industry without um, being behind the wheel okay so other than that y'all let me see how many how long has this been oh 27 minutes I gotta go I'll talk to y'all later bye